Good evening. My name's Chuck. I'm coming to you live from Paradise, which is deep in the suburbs of Mayberry, on the outskirts of the Twilight Zone. My group, family, community, whatever you want to call this phenomenal bunch of people, we just call it the Land Factory, has decided to do a challenge each day for seven days. And of course, I missed the first two, so I'm jumping in on number three. And the subject for this one is, what's one habit I'm committed to changing that? Now that will excel my life and business. Well, I'd have to say for me, that would be time management. Okay. See, I have what's what's called sometimes in, in like in the martial arts world, monkey brain. That's where, you know, monkey jump from this limb to that limb and back here and there. And there. Now, the more sophisticated among us refer to it as ADD okay honey I got news for you I was ADD for ADD was cool you know what I'm saying and so I need to I need to change that and 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 I'm working on that okay I'm working on it but it, it's it, why is that necessary see why is that so important? It's because for old people, that's me, time is like toilet paper, see? The closer you get to the end, the less it is and the faster it goes. You know what I'm saying? It ain't right. It ain't fair. But that's the way it is. And I've always been very bad at time management. Now, everybody gets the same 24 hours in a day, 168 hours in a week, whether you're in the outhouse or the penthouse, that's just the way it is. Okay. But if you want to get anything done, you got to manage your, your day. Now, the problem is, see, I retired a couple years ago. And I'm getting to do all the stuff. See, retirement, it's, it's like your second childhood without supervision. And that's the problem. You know, I before I got well, one of the things we do here, Blind Factor, is we get up early in the morning. I'm not an early in the morning person. You understand what I'm saying? I like to stay up till two or three o'clock in the morning watching Fraser reruns on the Idiot Box. That's not good. You waste time. But see, we've been doing a book study with the Line Factory. So that you can, you know, learn important stuff. See? It's been good. And so I just need, uh, one of the things I love to do is work out. I built a gym in my backyard. And I entertain my neighbors. I mean, they're like, oh my God, he's out there doing that stuff again. <laughs> but it's fun. But the, the people in this group help you and encourage you and, and kind of lift you up and, and, you know, like, come on, come on, you can do it. And it's just been remarkable. And, uh, I love this group. Uh, Line Factory is one of the most incredible bunch of people I have ever, ever been around. And I mean, we got so many different, I'm running out of time. I'm running, see, I'm running out of time right now, but we got so many incredible people. I mean, we got rock stars, we got movie stars, we got professional people, we got, I mean, just every kind of people you can think of. And they let a hillbilly like me hang around too. <laughs> Bye. We'll see you tomorrow. How'd I turn this damn thing off? Ugh.